Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters, and if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. Now, the question I've been asked with what little streaming I've been able to do of Overwatch is, will the events be normal like always? And of course, Halloween would start probably about mm, beginning of next week if this was Overwatch 1, and we'd have lots of fun and earn some new skins. And Blizzard already answered, yes, it is starting. It's going to start late this year, though. It's only going to start October 25th, and it's going to run until November 8th. But the question is, what's going to be included? And the answer is, we really don't know. All we know is Junkenstein's Revenge is returning with the moniker Wrath of the Bride, referring to Sombra's Bride of Frankenstein skin. And that's about all we know. Now, of course, that skin could be available only with coins now. I don't know. Or it could be like normal where you do in-game events and earn the skin for your Sombra as well. And there are, usually there is, you know, multiple skins available for Halloween. And I don't see how things who are going right now with the start of the game, how they avoid having ability to earn some in-game cosmetics with the way things have been. Now, normally... We have about three, three and a half weeks on an Overwatch event to earn stuff. I'm assuming due to the fact that it's just so close to the launch of the game, it's only going to be about two, a little bit over two, and that's fine. We're going to have our first game event coming out of the gate. Uh, it looks like the servers after last night's fixing seem to be much more stable. We can actually play the game. I'm still getting the weird bug, though, that if I'm playing on my Xbox and I earn an achievement, it immediately boosts me. But instead of going back to, like, 20,000 in queue, I could just log right back in. And I'm really looking forward to Halloween because it's one of my favorite events in Overwatch. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun for people, especially if the game is now stable. And that's the most important part, is that we can actually go in, we can actually spend a lot of time having fun shooting during the Halloween event, playing Junkenstein's Revenge, and I'm not sure if they're going to go back with the classic mode where you could only play as the original four characters, where you played as Hanzo, Cassidy, Soldier 76, and Ana as the healer, or you're going to be able to go with the more expanded mode where there was different options. Who knows? Maybe it'll only really be the new characters and you'll have to play as like Kiriko, Sojourn, Junker Queen and X, probably Soldier, because Soldier's kind of their boy, could be Cassidy, but who knows, and I'm really excited to hear what's going on, and I'm sure because of the fact that it's been pushed back to the 25th, we're probably going to get a little more information, probably next week, and I'll follow up on what is really going to be the full Halloween event, and what you're able to earn, what we're able to do, and of course we'll see all the normal things as the pumpkins, and all the spooky covers to the, all the maps as always it seems like it's going to be a relatively microcosm of the normal event and then probably go back to normal for the christmas event in december what are your thoughts are you excited that halloween is coming to overwatch 2 and that the live service game is not abandoning what's made overwatch or are you just like eh, shorter version i don't really care let me know in the comments below as always thanks for watching and later mates